Hi, this is Dave Barnett with LZ Tactical Lighting for our latest video blog. Today I want to talk about user interfaces on tactical flashlights. And in fact, of all the different aspects that make a tactical flashlight tactical, perhaps the most important is the user interface or the way the operator engages the functionality of the flashlight. Now, we need to understand that a tactical flashlight is just that. It is made for tactical situations or very high stress combat environments. And under such stress, that the human reaction time and error rate go up exponentially as options increase. So to have a robust, reliable user interface, it needs to have binary operation. In other words, there's only two options, on or off, high or strobe, but never a menu of a variety of things. Because again, human reaction time and error rate are exponential with the options that are available. In addition to binary controls, it's important to decouple or separate any different functions that might exist. For example, if you need on-off control and high strobe or constant beam strobe, it's important to decouple those functions so that they're not controlled by the same mechanism. Now imagine, if you will, an automobile. Right? If it has an automatic transmission, you have two pedals. You have an accelerator and you have a brake. Imagine if an automaker came up and said, we can save money by eliminating those two pedals and having just one common pedal. In fact, you'll operate the car this way. Press once to accelerate, press three times and hold to brake. Well, you can imagine the disaster that would ensue. Well, is it any less critical to have a tactical flashlight work well, do exactly what you expect it to do under high stress environments than it is to have your car operate the way you expect it to? As apparent as the foolishness of a one-pedal car is, there's really not much different to the way most tactical flashlights are made today. This flashlight, for example, turns on and off with the push button. Nothing wrong with that. But to engage the strobe mode, which this flashlight has, you use the same push button and push, 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 until eventually the strobe mode comes on. Now, under high-stress situation, when you need this to do exactly what you want it to immediately, that's going to be a big problem. So you might ask yourself, well, if that's a problem, and it clearly is, it's like a one-pedal car, why do so many flashlight manufacturers make tactical flashlights that have one button that controls everything? And as the answer to so many questions is, follow the money. And every LED flashlight has what's called a driver board or a driver circuit. And these boards have circuits on them that can easily be programmed to have high, low, strobe, medium, disco, whatever you want. And it doesn't add a penny to the manufacturing cost. So the reason so many flashlights on the market today have multi-click, go through the menu, press until you get what you want kind of user interfaces is not because it's a good way to do it, but because it's a free way to do it. Now contrast that to an LZ modular flashlight. Here I have an LZ Bravo 650 lumen flashlight with a high strobe tail cap. Now this has decoupled binary user interface. The push button turns on and off the flashlight. It doesn't do anything else. I can press this as many times as I want to. No other mode is ever accidentally going to be deployed. Now if I want to go into strobe, I simply take the tail cap, loosen it, very quickly, from a few degrees to a quarter turn, no precise movements are required. And I can change it whether it's on or whether it's off. I can go straight to the mode I want. So if I am in a situation where I need to go straight to strobe, there's no multi-clicks. One press of the button, it's in strobe. If I need to go straight to high beam, simply rotate it, and there I am. I can change modes whether it's on or whether it's off, because high and strobe are decoupled from on and off. Again, why don't other manufacturers use such a decoupled binary user interface? And it's simply because they go the way that's cheap. At LZ, we make the toughest flashlights on the planet. And we do what's best for our clients, who are going to be using these tactical flashlights in an environment where their very lives can depend on the functionality of their flashlight. Well, hopefully this brief discussion and demonstration of user interfaces for tactical flashlights has been beneficial. Hopefully you will use it to understand the importance of tactical user interface. One of the most important distinctions between a true tactical flashlight and one that's just good for walking your dog or working on your car. Use this information to select the right tactical flashlight for you and live to fight another day.